Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited today because I'm gonna be bringing you along with me on a really cool DIY project that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. So I went to the thrift store the other day and I thought I was getting this awesome deal on a mirror. It was $15 and it was really big and we need something in our bedroom because it's quite a dark room. So I thought this mirror would be perfect. It turns out it's super warped. So when you stand in front of it, it like distorts your body kind of like a funhouse mirror. And instead of throwing it away, I thought I could turn it into something else. So I'm going to be turning it into one of those really cool <clears throat> pottery barn, farmhouse chic type of mirrors with multiple panes. I've seen quite a lot of YouTubers do this, but they usually use those Ikea small <clears throat> mirrors and then they composite them together. But in this case, we're starting with a full size mirror and we're just going to be creating those divisions and repainting it and revamping it. So come with me and I'll show you how it's done. Welcome to my disaster room, AKA art slash music room. Um, and here is where the mirror in question is currently being stationed. I don't know if you can tell very well, like how terrible it actually is. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> I'm like doing this crazy dance. Do, 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 do. Um, anyway, so this is the mirror that we're going to be transforming. Um, it actually has like a pretty nice wooden uh, border, but it's like definitely like a cheap wood that's been stained with some kind of um, lacquer. And I'm just going to be priming it. So this is called Go Prime All-in-One Primer Sealer Undercoater stain killer. So that's what I'm going to use. I've actually used it for tons of other projects and it works really well. So I'm going to use that to prime the frame of the mirror. So the first step that I have to do is actually take out these brackets because they're going to prevent the mirror from lying flat on the ground as it dries. And we're actually not going to need these to attach the mirror to the wall. So. So next I'm just getting on my painting clothes and I'm going to tape around the edge of the mirror so that I don't get paint on the actual mirror part. The next step is to do the priming. So I'm just priming it with that same primer that you saw me holding earlier and I'm going to do one coat of that. And then on top of that I'm going to do two coats of acrylic white paint. And I used this one, it's from a store, an art store we have here in Canada called Opus. And it's just their basic essential acrylic colors is what I used. It's not like specifically for these kinds of projects or anything, but um, for me it worked just fine. So again, that's one coat of white primer and two coats of acrylic paint. And then we are gonna be using this molding that I got at the hardware store to create the window effect. And so this molding is just a one and a quarter inch by quarter inch wooden molding. The one that I got is already pre-primed. So I actually didn't paint this one white because it was already primed with white. And I think we can do the effect that I want to do, which is an antiquing effect, just directly on this primed surface. And what I've gone and done is I've already pre-measured the lengths that I need to cut. I think I got about 14 feet of this material and I've measured out my lengths. So for example, there's gonna be a piece that's going right down the middle. And so I've marked it here where I need to cut it off. And then there's gonna be four additional shorter pieces. One, two, three, four. And I've already measured out those lengths. I'm gonna go into the living room and cut them. So I'm using a wooden saw and a miter box just to get a straight cut. So let's go. Hey 
Hey everyone, so I did end up actually deciding to put on a coat of the white acrylic paint onto the pieces of molding that are gonna form the window pieces just because it got a little bit dirty as I was in the process of cutting them. And acrylic paint is essentially plastic, so it's gonna create a nice seal so that those pieces, if I need to wipe them down with a wet cloth or anything like that, they'll be nice and easy to wash. While those pieces are drying, I'm actually going to get started on creating the antique paint coat. And what I'm going to use to create that is really simple. It's just the white acrylic paint and then two shades of brown acrylic paint. And I'm just going to mix those until I get like a light brown kind of color. And I'm going to add in a lot of water to create a kind of wash effect rather than an opaque paint and then I'm gonna paint that color on and I'm actually gonna rub most of it off and that's gonna create that kind of like distressed look. I've played around with the consistencies um, and I've gotten it to the point where it's the consistency of kind of like a thick milkshake which I think is what you're going for. Now the other thing you're gonna need is just some paper towels to wipe off your paint and let's get started with the antiquing step. So I'm just painting it kind of like all over and then what I'm going to do is just wipe most of it off. finished doing the perimeter of the mirror and now I'm going to work on the slats that are going to create the mirror effect for the antiquing portion but I just wanted to give you a bit of a closer up look on what that actually looks like on the border part of the mirror. As you can see there's a bit more dimension now thanks to that darker wash. It's not like a stark white anymore. It's got a bit of swipes of darker color and I just think it makes it look a bit more rustic. So now I'm gonna go and do that same effect on the slats and I'll check back in with you after everything is painted and dried. Hey everyone, the paint has dried and now I'm going to do the very satisfying tape removal for you. Observe. So now I'm ready to start assembling my project and I'm going to use this Gorilla Construction Adhesive to do it. It's just an all-purpose adhesive that can stick materials, different kinds of materials to one another. I'm just going to use that to stick down the molding that is now dry. So on the back of the Gorilla Glue tube, it tells you to apply it in a zigzag motion and to not apply too much glue so that you don't get a lot of bleed through once you smoosh it down. So I've actually marked out where the center of my uh, piece of molding should go. So I'm just going to line it up. And then it says you have to hold it down for 20 to 60 seconds. I'm going to put some books down to hold it in place. Actually photo albums. <laughs> Full disclosure, I did have to spend like 10 minutes um, sanding some of these down just because I think when I put the paint on it made them a little bit longer. But I just used some uh, rough grit sandpaper and it's fine. So now we're gonna glue down the little guys. So 
so I actually ended up having to do a little bit of adjusting once I had applied the glue. I wanted to make sure that the parts that look like window panes or the separators of the different areas on the window uh, looked straight in relation to one another so I just used a long straight ruler to make sure that that was the case. Now that all of the pieces are on I'm just gonna leave these photo albums on them overnight and then um, we'll come back tomorrow to do the final reveal. Okay, so now it's the next day and I have to tell you guys I am super happy with how this turned out. If you remember back to that ugly, dark, warped old mirror um, and comparing it to what it looks like now, I think it looks really good. And I think it's going to look super good in our bedroom. I think it's going to add a lot of light and dimension to the space. So I'm super excited to see what it looks like all hung up. So this is how the mirror looks in our room. And yeah, I think it looks really good. I think it adds uh, definitely a feeling of spaciousness to the room. And I didn't mention this earlier, but we actually have kind of a unique space in that it's a loft. So you actually can look down onto our living room from the lofted space. And uh, we have neighbors behind us and to the side of us, which is why there's actually no mirrors, sorry, why there's no windows on the interior walls. But we do have a window that's kind of down the hall where the stairs are to go down to the living room. And this is what the mirror looks like in our room at night. I think it makes the space feel a lot more cozy because it bounces the warm light off of my bedside lamp, which is a really cool lamp that I got from Ikea that's made of some kind of rattan or dried grass material. And I just think it makes the space so cozy. Well, that is the end of that. Thank you so much for joining me and for coming along on this DIY project. Hopefully it inspired you to do a DIY of your own. If you also attempted this, but maybe did it a slightly different way, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.